Boom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Royal Decree 39 for this year, forming the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs under the chairmanship of Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa and with a membership of 15 for a term of four years. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held talks last night with His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud in Jeddah. The Prime Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and his best wishes of further development and prosperity to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz emphasised that the security of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia are an integral, inseparable whole. He affirmed the need to develop the Cooperation Council, saying that GCC countries are surrounded by a troubled region, which necessitates a careful, united stance. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister stressed that Saudi Arabia is the heart of Islam and the Arab world and continues to be the source of all goodness and well-being of the Arab and Islamic nations, calling for the preservation of unity and cohesion, the protection of integrity and for boosting development of the Gulf, the Arab and Islamic countries. He also lauded Saudi Arabia's landmark political and economic support. The meeting discussed local affairs and latest developments and Bahrain's efforts at building strategic relations based on mutual respect. Their Royal Highnesses confirmed the need to support bilateral commercial cooperation, particularly in facilitating trade across the King Fahad Causeway. They noted the development of relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which reflect the outstanding historic relations based on love, shared destiny and brotherly cooperation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister called for the process of moving from the phase of cooperation to unity to be accelerated, especially during the current fast challenges witnessed by the region. He also stressed the need to hold meetings among GCC states on further cooperation and coordination on different political, security and economic issues in the best interests of the people. Their Royal Highnesses affirmed the importance of consolidating regional security and stability through a comprehensive vision comprising all mechanisms aimed at protecting Arab and Gulf interests. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister paid tribute to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and highlighted Saudi's support for the GCC march and from promoting the causes of Arab and Muslim countries. He hailed Saudi policy based on prioritizing religion and the nation and confronting threats faced by the Islamic nation. His Royal Highness expressed hope that his visit would expand aspects of love and collaboration between the two kingdoms in their mutual best interests. After that, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister attended a banquet hosted by His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, Prince Amman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud.
After that, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, left the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He was seen off at the airport by the Deputy Crown Prince and Second Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Mukrin bin Abdulaziz Saud, the Governor of Mecca, His Royal Highness Prince Mishal bin Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Governor of Jeddah, His Royal Highness Prince Mishal bin Majid bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, Bahrain's Ambassador to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and a number of senior state officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today the Chief Executive of InvestCorp, Nimer Godar. His Royal Highness underlined the government's support of financial and investment activities in Bahrain and its provision of a suitable environment to maintain Bahrain's position as an investment hub for the financial and banking sector. His Royal Highness noted the government's continued contribution in the comprehensive economic system. He commended InvestCorp's distinguished reputation at international level, as well as its backing of Bahraini staff, wishing them every success. For his part, Mr. Gadar praised the motivating economic atmosphere of Bahrain, thanks to the economic programs adopted by the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. Mr. Gadar also presented to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister an outline of InvestCorp's future plans and programs. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, continued his visits to Ramadan Majlises by visiting the Majlises of Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Mohammed Al Jafari, and the Majlis of the Sons of Abdul Karim Ahmed Al Ansari. This comes as part of communication and staying in touch with Bahraini families during the holy month of Ramadan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed on investing in Bahrainis developing the skills of the Bahraini workforce in order to cope with future challenges and in order to use Bahraini skills and abilities to serve the nation and continue its development. His Royal Highness lauded the contribution of Bahrainis in the industry and commerce sector in supporting the Kingdom's position in terms of investment and business activities. His Royal Highness added that in order to continue development, there's a need to join efforts in the state institutions, including government and the private sector, his Royal Highness the Crown Prince asserted on continuing developing the education and training output in order to create a productive and active atmosphere that focuses on competitive advantage and making the Bahraini workforce a preferred one in the market. 
His Royal Highness went on to say that our path is one that concentrates on brotherhood and forgiveness. And this, he said, is important in a region that is facing conflicts, that acts as a stumbling block toward development. His Royal Highness said that security and stability are keys to safeguarding the kingdom and its economic, political and social achievements. For their parts, the audiences expressed pleasure in His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's visits and his care and concern for harmony amongst society and his support for issues that touch on the country's stability and prosperity. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Khalifa al-Zahrani, and the accompanying delegation left for Cairo today to participate in tomorrow's emergency meeting of the Arab Parliament, which will discuss the repercussions of the Israeli aggression against Palestine and its people. The heads of Arab parliaments and heads of delegations will deliver speeches on the current situation, including their support of the Palestinian cause in the face of this serious attack, in addition to issuing recommendations in this regard. The meeting will discuss the deteriorating situation in the Gaza Strip and the occupied territories and the escalation of aggression waged by Israel on the Gaza Strip, which has resulted in the deaths of hundreds of innocent martyrs and wounded hundreds more. Following the instructions of His Majesty the King to supervise the dispatch of humanitarian aid to distressed Palestinians as part of efforts to alleviate their suffering, the Royal Charity Organization held a press conference this afternoon to highlight the steps it will take to implement the instructions of His Majesty the King. A committee has been established to oversee all efforts and to dispatch relief materials urgently. The press conference was attended by the Secretary General of the Royal Charity Organization, Dr Mustafa Al Sayed, who gave the following statement to Bahrain Television, Channel 55 News. His Majesty the King, God bless him, was the first to uh, donate five million dollars into our account, and uh, in addition to generating the fund, we have to organize a whole campaign from the uh, PR side, promotion, uh, media. Uh, at the same time, 
having on an you know, open day on television, encouraging people to donate, and then taking steps on the ground to help and get the uh, medical and uh, uh, rescue equipment there as quickly as possible, hours before days. Uh, so the, there's a lot of activities being carried out round the clock. It's a 24-hour operation. It's a war uh, situation now. And when His Majesty gives you a directive, then he expects results. And with the help of Sheikh Nasser and his support, alhamdulillah, in less than 24 hours, we made a lot of progress. The Palestinian ambassador to Bahrain, Taha Abdul Qadir, praised the directive of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide urgent humanitarian aid through the royal charity organization to the people of Palestine in Gaza to help them overcome their ordeal. The ambassador also expressed appreciation for His Majesty's initiatives to collect donations for Palestine and His Majesty's donation of five million U.S. dollars to Palestine which will be channeled through the Royal Charity Organization under the chairmanship of the organization president, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Palestinian ambassador also thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid for forming the Bahrain National Committee for helping the people of Palestine in Gaza. The ambassador extended thanks to His Majesty the King, honorary president of the Royal Charity Organization, to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid, and to the staff of the organization, including the organization's secretary general, Dr. Mustafa Al Sayed. The ambassador also lauded the type of projects supported by the Kingdom of Bahrain in helping the people of Gaza, including educational, health services and cultural projects.